Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, let me, uh, uh, boy I'm just not pushing the buttons right tonight, hi, how are you everybody, it's Alex Bennett, it is the Ramble, and uh, why, why, why is this sounding so, uh, I don't know, not particularly uh, terrific here, oh, I, I have no idea, oh well, anyway, hi, how are you, welcome to our fine little program, and uh, we do this until, uh, what, midnight tonight, midnight daylight time, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, and we'll have the Citizens Panel in just a little bit. But right now, we have a guest here, and, and uh, we'd like to talk to her every now and then, a former wife of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is. Once again, it's Ronnie Bennett. How are you, Ronnie? I'm just fine. How are you? And we're talking to her in Lake Oswego. Yeah, it's just south of Portland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a suburb. Is that what it's yes. considered? Okay. Uh, yes. looks like a, it looks like you have a nice place there. It uh, looks cool. Looks great. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Same yeah. furniture yeah. I always remember, just in different places. That's all. I never change anything. <laughs> you know, I figure you get a sofa, it's for life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So and when we started off today, before we went on, she said, what do you want to talk about? And I said, I don't know. And she says, I don't know. And I said, well, we just start from point A and we find out where we wind up. And I guess the thing I would like to talk to you about, because you're, you're an expert in aging. Well, I don't know about well, an expert, no, but I know a lot. Well, yeah. let's face it. We're all experts in aging. Uh, and when you get there. <laughs> when you get there, you're, you're an expert <laughs> in aging. But you do a, you do Time Goes By, uh, .net, which is your uh, blog. And you've been doing that for how many years now? God. Almost 15. 15 years. I don't know where the time went. It's a surprise yeah. to me, too. And it's all about what it's like to really get old, you know. And I had a perfect example of that the other day i've been trying for the longest time to get a friend of mine into this studio to do an interview with and his name is jack garfine uh he was a uh, one of the founders of the actor's studio west he was with the actor's studio in new york he was a broadway director directed a couple of films but his the the way he started out in life was in a concentration camp how he, old is this guy? Th this guy is now 87 years old. He went to a concentration camp when he was 13. Uh, and as I look at Jack, I go, that's what getting old is. You know, I mean, because 87 is getting advanced. All right. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Hell, yeah, I'm, you just I, figured that out. You huh? just turned 77. I just turned 78. And that's kind of advanced. But he's really advanced. And I'm watching him slowly, between you and me, decline, you know. And I love the man. I've, I've only known him about 10 months, but we, I've just come to absolutely adore the guy. Nice. Uh, and, and we become very close. And I, I keep saying to myself, you know, you just don't want to get close to somebody who's that old because they're, you're not going to have them that long. Doesn't you know? matter if you have them today. If you have them today. So we, we did an interview and stuff, and um, I started to think about it. And whenever you see a thing about it, I said to him, I said, uh, you know, you're probably one of the last survivors of the, of the camps. And he said, no, there are a lot of us. I and, just saw a story about one today who, was a, who is still with us, 112, probably the oldest survivor. Yeah, but here's the thing that suddenly hit me. Maybe what he went through. The horror of it all, the the, the pain of it all, uh, the coming within three days of death of it all, somehow made him tough enough that he's now 87, that they live longer because of that experience. You think there's well, anything to a that? A lot didn't too. People die at every age. I don't think that. I don't think so. 
And does he talk about it? Because a lot of people won't who survive. Oh, he talked about it. Yeah, yeah. We we got into a major uh, discussion. It lasted about an hour and 50 minutes. Uh, okay. And I had to rush him through it. I mean, I wish... I wish I he was exhausted because he's been having some health issues. And so I couldn't, it's like I wish I had 10 hours with him just on that subject. But I had to kind of rush him through it. Um, but the, the third part of the interview, which lasts 50 minutes, is just extraordinary about his experience in Auschwitz. And he was in 11 camps. You know, they moved him around a lot. They moved him around a lot, but he survived it. That's the thing, and it's a story of survival. It's just by just by inches there was the difference mm -hmm. between life and death. You know, uh, so I'm wondering Hard if people. I'm wondering if people who go through arduous circumstances like that, maybe if they come out on the other side of them, live a long, long life. I don't buy it, but. You can go ahead and, and buy it. No, but I mean, there's, maybe there's something to it that toughens you, toughens your system. Yeah, but 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 you're you. It's an opinion. It's not a fact. You don't know the numbers. <clears throat> well, I'm not a scientist. Okay, I'm only an observer. You know, um, but you know, it, I, you had a thing once. Uh, I think maybe you had it on a on a. You had it written on a on a pillow. That was Betty Davis's quote, the getting old age. Oh, which everybody knows now, yeah. old age is not for sissies. And after the last year, I'm here to tell you that I know, I thought I, she was I, right I, before. Now I really know she's right. No, really. It, it, you know, I've got aches and pains. I mean, nothing compared to what you, you've you gone through. Uh, uh, but I have aches and pains and I go, you know, it just, it doesn't get any better. You would think that if there was a good God in heaven, you know, as everybody likes to pray to, that he would have done something where as you get older, things get better. There's a reward at that end of that Don't rainbow. Don't you think some things have gotten better? I've got aches and pains. Everybody has a different number and different intensity and... You know, I don't have pains, and I'm I'm knocking wood as I say that. I just, you know, now that I'm recovered from the surgery, I don't really have daily a pains. But, um, but what would it give? It there must be an upside for you. Uh, I'm trying to think about it. Let's see here. Uh, the fact that nobody takes you seriously anymore uh, is that an upside? No, it's not. Uh, I I don't. I don't know that there is an upside. I mean, not it, it, everything gets a little worse rather than easier. Or, you know what I'm saying? I think some. I think that a lot of stuff. I've learned a lot. There are a lot of. You know the phrase "stuck in our ways" about old people. Yeah. I've really come to think that that is really, really wrong. One of the things I'm stuck in my ways about is my coffee in the morning. For 30 years, I bought it from Puerto Rico Coffee on um, Bleecker Street in the village, about two blocks from where I lived yeah. in New York. Yeah. <clears throat> and when I left 10 years ago, God, more than that now. Anyway, I went to Maine for four years, and I hadn't looked at coffee in the grocery store for years because I'd been buying it at this right. wonderful shop that's been around for 100 years in New York. And... Um, and, it, and I couldn't make sense of what I didn't want to. I'd went, gone through so much to find the blend I liked at Puerto Rico Coffee. I didn't want to do that again. I had done that 30 years before, and I was still very happy with it. So I just, I, you know, we had the Internet by then, by the time I moved. So I just import coffee, and I still do from Puerto Rico. Every couple of months, I buy a whole bunch. And by the way, it's cheaper because they still give you whole pounds, which you don't get in the supermarket. For a smaller price or about the same price as the supermarket. Um, and there's a whole lot of things that it took me a long time to figure out what I preferred when I was younger over a period mm -hmm. of years that yeah. you discovered. And now I don't have to think about it anymore. Yes, I am stuck in my ways. I am going to have that kind of coffee until the day I die. But that's not stuck in the way, in my ways, in, in a negative sense. It's because I figured out a long time ago what I liked best, and I don't have to think about it anymore, which gives me a little more room in my brain to think about other things. 
And there are tons of things like that we've done through our lives that just make it easier. You don't have to think so hard about it anymore. Yeah, Just but, that alone. Well, and I, that's a small thing. And, and and that's one of the reasons why advertisers covet the 18 to uh, 49 oh, year old right. age group is because they are malleable. That if you if you get somebody started on say Starbucks coffee when they're 20 in their 20s, yeah. they will probably so, continue when they're in their 60s to go out and stop at Starbucks. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's why they don't care about the age group over that for television because the, the trends and what you buy are set there. I've always been a Coca-Cola drinker, whether it's been regular Coke or then now Diet Coke and Coke and no, uh, Zero Sugar. Uh, I, I have always, I've always been a, been a Coca-Cola user. You cannot get me to Pepsi. I'm sorry. Well, that's been, that's been a constant argument for as long as my whole life. Pepsi drinkers, Coke drinkers. I think think it was Bill Maher referred to, referred to it as sad Coke. You know, (laughs) you know, another thing that makes life easier as I get older is almost everything I can, that's bothering me. I can say, okay, this too shall pass. (laughs) And it does usually, you know, Um, whatever is upsetting me at the moment or, you know, it, 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 it's always going to, oh, oh, and here's the other thing. You know how time is supposedly goes so much faster mm-hmm. when we, as we get older? It appears to go much faster. Yeah. It means that anything that's wrong right now will go away faster than when you were younger. <laughs> 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 and it, it may be not for real, but I remember that when... When Monday came and and I would go to work and there was something I was looking forward to on Friday, it took forever for Friday to come. Now on Monday, I look at the week and next thing I know, I blink my eye and it's Friday morning. What what happened in between? I barely remember sometimes. Well, let's get to the question here then of memory. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Um, It's bothering me lately. That I, Your memory it, bothers you? It, the, the things that I do, repetitive things that I do every day, sometimes I fuck up on now. Me too. Now, is that part of getting old or just you're tired of the repetition? Oh, I don't think, you don't consciously do that to yourself. Um, I just think, you know, a few months ago, which in, in my case can mean a year or more ago yeah. when I say that, um, there was some recognized scientist, not just somebody making stuff up in their room, uh, saying that the work that he had been doing on the brain is that one of the reasons old people have trouble with memory is there's just too much stuff in there, like that, an that's, overfilled that's hard a, drive. I heard that one too, yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah. Um, but um, but I do, I've watched myself do things like you're talking about, the repetitive things, in a different way than I used to, that I know in the, cupboard in the kitchen that a certain dishes are behind this door invariably i open the other door beside it for years i have been opening the right door suddenly for the last year i'm opening the right the wrong door and although it's not every time it's frequent enough that i notice it and it's you know it, it, it's not something i stand around and think oh i need the blue dish i just go open a door when it's in my head but i open the wrong door also I don't know if this is exactly related to memory, but one of the things I've been watching myself do for the past two or three or four months is I don't feel like I move any slower than I did. Mm. In my case, I keep saying pre-surgery now, so I will for a while, I suppose. Um, um, But everything seems to take longer. (laughs) I mean, even though I don't feel like I'm going any slower. For instance, I decide I need to go out. Okay, all I need is my handbag and my coat. I look at the clock, and it's 10 minutes to 12. And at 12, I happen to walk by the clock again, and I still haven't got my coat on. What did I do for 10 minutes? I mean, it drives me crazy. Well, I, uh, I, uh, here, here's the one that gets me. I have to go to the kitchen to get something. The distance between the kitchen and the bedroom is maybe a 10 second walk all right and i get to the kitchen and forget what i was trying going oh, there to get that you know the first time that happened to me i was about 
38, and I remember it distinctly because I was on my way to work, and I was late, and I kept a thing which I have all my life near the door, a place to hang my keys so that when you come in, you just automatically hang them and you know where they are all the time. Yeah. They weren't there. Yeah. And I couldn't, my door in New York City opened onto the street. There's not a chance I could leave my door unlocked and go out for the day. So I go, you know, through the coat pockets from the day before and everywhere, all over the house. I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. Time is going by like crazy. Suddenly I go to the refrigerator for something and there they are. It's an old joke these days. There are the keys in the refrigerator. I don't remember doing it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There was an ad on TV about some woman getting Alzheimer's and the way they found out she kept leaving her key. She, they found her <laughs> keys in the refrigerator. And my whole line has been forever. I'll know I've got Alzheimer's when I find my keys in the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, I found them there when I was 38 and I'm doing fine at 77. <laughs> By the way, I, I this just occurred to me, you know, that I had a birthday on Saturday. I turned yeah. 77 and I was getting ready and thinking about this chat that we were going to have today. And I think I met you when I was about 17. So that means... 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77. We've known each other for about 60 years. Ouch. <laughs> I think maybe, let's see, how old was I when I met? I met you uh, outside the Old Town Coffee House in Sausalito, California, and somebody said, I got to get my friend Ronnie. And I, you came in, and I guess you were wearing jeans. You were, you were very, you were dressed not particularly... Uh, uh, femininely okay and so jeans i just had jeans on what's not no, feminine about that well i think you also had short hair too so i, I when you that. came in i was just you know it was dark and i didn't know that ronnie was a woman and then all of a sudden you started to talk and i realized ronnie was a female you mean you thought i was a man for my name yeah yeah so uh and that's when we first met where did we go i can't remember there were a bunch of people in the car. I don't remember where we were going. Yeah, I, I don't remember. And those weren't days of drugs, for me at least. So I, there isn't a loss of memory on that. I think we just drove around a little bit or something like that. I can't remember who's who was driving the car. I thought it was you. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. No, no, I was in the back seat where you, you climbed in. That's the most I remember of that night. Not much, you know. I would think that considering how our marriage turned out, you'd want to just erase it from your memory altogether, you know. Well, you know, the Old Town Coffee House was a big favorite of mine, and I only lived two or three doors down from it, so I yeah. spent a lot of time there. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was the Beatnik Central. It's where the Beatnik movement the beat was Nicks. born. The Beatniks. You know, people sometimes, younger people think I was a hippie. I always said, no, 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 no. I was a beatnik. Most of the world has forgotten what beatniks yeah, were, but we, I was we one. Were, we were beatniks, and then that transmogrified, I guess, into hippie. Well, I don't think they were the same things. They yeah. weren't the same things, but they came, a lot of the hippies, a lot of the <laughs> hippies were beatniks. You know what I I'm didn't saying? know that. Yeah. I, I don't have a sense well, of that. Well, I'm, pro I'm proof of that. Younger. I'm proof of that. I was a beatnik, and then I became a hippie. <laughs> In fact, you were a hippie. I've got pictures of you with your bell bottoms and the whole thing at WMCA. But that was general fashion. And that wasn't everybody wore bell bottoms then, not just hippies. But we weren't hippies during that era? I didn't feel like I was. I was an anti-war protester. Yeah, but you didn't feel you were? Hmm? You didn't feel you were. I never, I never felt a kinship with with a hippie ethic. Did you no. feel I was a hippie? Not particularly, but if you want to think so, that's okay with me. No, <laughs> I, I think that I was. I mean, you know, I mean, I guess. Well, you grew your hair really long. Yeah. And a beard? Did you yeah. have a beard? I had a little bit of a beard. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, and you wore bell bottoms. Well, that's all you could buy. That's I mean, what I'm saying. I mean, it had nothing to do with hippies. It had to do with current you know, fashion. People say, why do these kids today wear such stupid clothing? It's because they're trapped into wearing that clothing. Because any era, I remember, I hated platform shoes. The idea of platform shoes was an anathema to me. And I went into a, a shoe store one day to buy some shoes, and all there were were platform shoes. I had no other choice. I found out, found myself wearing platform shoes because I was forced to because of the fashion trend of the, of the day. 
my current fashion complaint, among many, but uh, about old people, but just in general too, is that you, it's hard to find anything with sleeves anymore. It's very, very hard for women. Yeah. I don't think it's probably true for men. But there's nothing but sleeve. Th- and I want to thank uh, Michelle Obama for that. She's the one who first started showing up with sleeveless things when they were when her husband was first elected president. And it became a fashion statement, and it hasn't gone away yet. Right. right. And I happen to like sleeves. <laughs> you happen to like sleeves. <laughs> Well, I wear a little, you know, I wear like a shirt over my sleeveless, whatever. I don't know, I'm not, my arms are not, I don't think they're, you know it's gotten old? My hands have gotten old. In fact, the worst thing I did was lose 55 pounds. Oh, you get all wrinkled then? Yeah, because my hands weren't <laughs> wrinkled when I was 55 pounds heavier, right? Alex, you're 78, it's okay. It's yeah. okay. But I was always proud that my these were the Schwarzman hands, you know. <laughs> what is special about Schwarzman? You could tell it. My father had the same hands, same fingers, uh, and they were musicians' hands. Oh, that's very interesting. My grandmother, my mother's mother, died yeah. giving birth to my mother, so none of us ever knew her. Mm-hmm. But I have a photograph of her at age fifteen. Back in the early part of the twentieth century, you went to a studio to have a picture yeah. taken rather than with a phone. And they had backgrounds people stood against. And she's standing against a kind of woody background and leaning on a fence. And her hand, if you can see this, Mm -hmm. is over the fence post like this. Yeah. Whenever I look at that photograph, her hand looks just like mine. My grandmother that I never knew. Yeah, I think you inherit things like hands, you know. I often wondered, excuse me for for diverting into a a ditch here, but... (laughs) I can't wait to hear this. I'm wondering if, for guys, penises are inherited. <laughs> I don't even want to go because, there. And, we, and, none of us, and none of us know don't be, even go because there. nobody wants to ask how big was dad's penis. <laughs> Stop it. So we never had an answer to that question because we're afraid to ask it. What difference would it make? Well... You know, I mean, you know, if you if your if your father had a short penis and you've got a short penis, then obviously it's inherited. <laughs> Can we talk about something else, please? <laughs> I just it was it's just something that has always bothered me, and I've never had a sufficient answer on it because nobody does any research into this. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. You know. Most people don't even talk about it, and particularly when they're being recorded. The, the other question a lot of kids don't ask their parents is, how was, how, under what conditions was I conceived? Did you ever ask your parents that question? No, never occurred to me. I did ask my mother. I mean, mother. I know where babies come from. Yeah, but I did ask my mother. Well, it was the bed that you had. You as a don't kid, want right? to hear the answer. Most people don't want to hear the answer because it's not what you thought. What you what you think you're going to hear is, well, we decided that we wanted another member of our family and we wanted somebody to love and adore. Okay, that's that's the answer you want. All right. The answer I got was we had moved into a new apartment. The furniture hadn't arrived yet, so we had sex on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you see this morning? It's very charming. If you haven't seen it, go up to YouTube and look at it. Mm. Seth Meyers' wife had their yes, I saw. No, I saw him lobby him. of their building yesterday. I, I don't watch that show, but last night for some reason I was. I thought I'd watch and see what Corden was doing, and see what Seth Meyers was doing, and he went into that story about his wife yeah. giving birth in the uh, in the uh, lobby of her of their building. Yeah. With her vagina, it's, it's a love. It's about ten minutes long, and it's just he's just charming and lovely about it. It's yeah, really yeah, nice. Yeah, but he also and also t- funny. He's got a few uh, good. Well, he also lines. talks about the fact is he says I'm 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 glad nobody came down in the elevator because Why? that's that's the oh way God. she was facing. <laughs> He said, and he said that when he was calling nine one one, that he in in the space of one minute he had to say to them, "We're having a baby." Or, we're going to have a baby. We're having a baby. Oh, we had a baby. <laughs> it was that quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, but amazing how many firemen showed up. Yeah, well, it's Seth Meyers, you know. Yeah, but you would think it'd be like one or two firemen that would show up. But no, it was like a whole 
but squadron or something. Squadron there or were whatever. Whole lot of guys in the photographs, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny that somebody was taking photographs during this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's everything is recorded by cell phone now. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know that. You know, it, it, what's funny is that we are so uh, dependent on hospitals and everything that when we give birth to a child, we don't know naturally what to do. Babies do. Babies do. The baby <laughs> popped out and she had the baby in her arms, but I don't think she knew where to cut the cord or do that kind of thing. The fireman knew how to do it. And it was very. What's funny about it is that Seth Meyers seemed surprised that the fireman knew how to do that when he when he told that part of the story. Yeah. He was surprised that they knew. And when he got to the hospital, he said he asked the doctor, "Did they do it okay?" And firemen know how to do this. They're trained to do that, you know. And the EMTs that go with them. Yeah, and they I said was just it, they surprised said, he didn't know. They said he did a very good job. The firemen. Yeah. So you know, it's uh, hey, look, I just looked. We've run out of time. Is this silly or what? See, you didn't know. What are we going to talk about? We could talk for another well, half I, hour. It's interesting like. to us. I'm not so sure about everybody else. In fact, it's <laughs> interesting that we talk to each other more now than we did when we were married. And I think that that's, uh, uh, that's, true. A, that's, that's a good thing. True, true. Uh, we'll have to talk about marriage sometime. Yes, I know. Well, I you've got a lot more experience at it than I do. I only did it once. Well, I was all you ever needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've always I, seen it. I soured it's an you old, on the old joke. You know, never mind about the old joke. I'll, we'll we'll save it. For I that soured discussion. you on the subject. Uh, More or less. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Isn't it funny? She's seventy-seven. Just turned seventy-seven. Happy birthday! I'm seventy-eight, and we're sitting here laughing about all of this, <laughs> which uh, you know, at the time we weren't laughing about it. You know? Wasn't funny then. No. That's by the way, to bring this full circle back to where we began. Yeah. That's one of the great things to me about growing old is that things that were just overwhelming, particularly negative things that were just awful when I was in my twenties, thirties, even forties. It's now he's just oh geez, that's too bad. Now move on. It's just not as big a thing anymore. Right. Doesn't mean that I don't feel sad when sad things happen or angry when somebody does something that makes me angry but it's it doesn't overwhelm me the way it did when i was young and that's a big wonderful difference with being old i wish i could say that was true of me i'm not it's not that things bother me i worry about things more than i yeah, used to yeah but then you know i don't know what worry is i don't understand what it and i remember that during being married I, to you i I, that I, I don't understand what 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 goes on in someone's mind who worries? I, I worry about things before. No, I found out why. Uh, if we can take a few more minutes here, screw my audience. Uh, <laughs> we'll get to you in a second, guys and gals. Um, that uh, um, who was the guy who wrote uh, Swimming to Cambodia? Um, oh God! Can't make it come to mind. Well, I was in, uh, Spalding Gray. Uh, yes. So I was interviewing Spalding Gray, and uh, he. Uh, I, I started talking about, we were talking about traveling, because, you know, he swam to Cambodia. Uh, and uh, uh, I said, you know, it's, it's, tr it's terrible. Before I go on a trip, I go panicky. I start worrying about every aspect of the trip, like, will I be able to make this train when I do this, and blah, 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 blah. And he said, well, I'm the same way. And I said, yeah, why do we do that? He said, simple. We're control freaks. We want, we always look at the worst possible scenario on everything that's going to happen before it happens, so that if it does happen, we're not surprised. That's very interesting because I don't feel that way about life. Yeah. But when I was producing live television shows way back in the 70s, after you and I broke up, every morning before we went live, before we went on the air, I would think about everything that could go wrong on this live show mm -hmm. and have in my head a solution for every single thing that could go wrong so that one day when the third camera got went down i knew what i was going to do with the other two cameras and so on and that's a little different though than worrying about whether a train is going to take it off wasn't on worrying time. it was but it was being prepared yeah, that but, you're talking but about i would let it same, obsess in a similar me. way i mean right now i'm obsessing about the fact that i have to go in for my yearly physical <laughs> will my psa go up you know not that hey my psa could go down 
You know? <laughs> I have the same problem about that, but it, I don't let it overtake my life. Yeah. But I can't claim credit for not allowing it to take over my life. It yeah. just is. That's who I well, am. Well, I drive. I, I, I drive my. Myself I drive my current life crazy with this. With my. Well, I, I sympathize. I've been there. You've been there. You should. <laughs> there's a little club. They get together on Saturdays, and they. <laughs> ah, love you. Time to go. Love you, Ronnie. You too. Take you know, care. Let's do it again in a couple of weeks, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap. The Great American Broadcast Network. And that was my uh, ex-wife, uh, Ronnie. Uh, and we get together every couple of weeks and talk about stuff. Uh, if you want to see her website, it's uh, timegoesby.net. Okay, timegoesby.net. Oh, I just really like to get old. And it deals with uh, things about aging. So that's why we were talking so much about aging. Because she is, she, as I say, she's the expert. But then again, we all eventually become an expert on aging. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Let me get rid of uh, the music part of the panel. And get up the, uh, where is it? Here we go. Put up the Skype. Turn on the Skype. Okay. Hey, by the way, tomorrow night uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have something on here. Uh, we're gonna have the first of the three interviews with my uh, dear friend Jack Garfine, and we're gonna be talking about his time in. Uh, it, it, well, first the, the just the whole thing that went on with the camps and so on, uh, with the concentration camps, but about the lead up to it and live growing up and. You know, the, the kind of things, uh, what, what happened exactly? How did you get arrested? How did this all happen? How did it all come down? And it, it really is fascinating. Maybe not the easiest thing to listen to. Um, he does tend to wander a little bit, and I had to keep him on, on target. But what we got out of him in the end, the second episode is great too. But the third episode, which you'll hear about three weeks from now, because I'm going to run one off each week, uh, is amazing it is just an amazing thing and and what it is is you're dealing with the um you're dealing with the uh, uh with the you know the holocaust and the concentration camps and what was it like to be growing up in that and the fears and uh, he talks about his mother and how she handled it uh, and how she leveled with the kids and told them what might be happening, you know, so that they were not being, it, it's just, it's, uh, I showed it to um, Marjorie today, showed her first two episodes, and she said it is just riveting. Uh, she says, I don't know how other people are going to look at it. Some people might not, just might not like it, uh, but uh, that, um, She'll find, you know, she found it riveting, and she says, I think a lot of people will. So the first interview of the three that I did with Jack Garfine, these are two 30 minutes, and then the last one is 50 minutes. But that's all about Auschwitz and beyond and the liberation. So <clears throat> it's, um, and they were, they were difficult interviews for me to do because, you know, Jack is an older guy, and I had to deal with, uh, with his, um, um, his rambling a little bit on the stories and trying to make it make sense. But I, I if you stick with it, I, I think the uh, the value you're going to get out of it is great. Well, I'm waiting for somebody to call here. I don't know if anybody's going to want to, but um, the other night we went till 11 o'clock with only like two people. And then when I threatened to just close the whole thing down, including GabNet, uh, all of a sudden we got filled up with people. So, you know. Anyway, we'd like to hear from you, and uh, I don't know where, for instance, where is uh, where's Phil, and where is uh, uh, all the other people that call this program on a regular basis. Um, I'd start talking about stuff now, but then people will call, and I would rather do it when I have people here. So uh, I'm just waiting for the calls to start pouring in uh, as I sit here. Um, I don't, where is everybody? God, by now I have at least somebody calling. 
Hmm. Well, what am I going to do? I could play some uh, commercials, things like that, you know. Just hope that people call. Um, hmm. Well, gee, what am I going to do? Uh, are people, are, can people hear me? Are we going out okay? I know we, I, we're, the audio on the video is going out. I checked that. Uh, and um, the audio on uh, uh, GabNet is going out, so where's that? You know. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm just sitting here waiting. I've never had to wait this long. Okay. Well, okay. That's it. I'm fed up. Uh, I'm fed up. Oh, uh, maybe we'll try this again tomorrow night. Maybe somebody will call. All right? Uh, all right? Okay. Oh, well, here comes Renee. Uh, she saved us just in time. Hello, Renee. How are you? Good. How about you? Well, Wait, I'll work on the camera. Yeah. Well, yeah. There no, we go. For some reason, uh, nobody seems to be calling up, so I, I don't know what the problem is here. No problem. So I saw oh, wait, Ronnie's wait, interview wait earlier today. And that was cool that you posted it. Hold on a second. I've got to do something here. Hold sure. on. Let me see here. Let me hang up on him. Uh, let me then add the contacts. Send. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to call him back. Let's you see. What, let's see what happens here. Albert is calling, attempting to call. <gasps> Let me see here. Yeah, Albert, why? Why isn't it? Almost, why isn't it? Um, hmm. That's better than a rub. Well. No offense, Rob. I uh, this is uh, I I don't know what happened there, but uh, it says Radio Albert. Here we go. Phil Meyer is calling. There you go. Yeah, and um, let me see here. Uh, Albert is calling. Let me see if I can get into Albert here. Hold on a second. Uh, well, this had to group call. People. Okay, all right. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Come on. And what is this? And where in Florida did he move to? Huh? You didn't say. I, where in Florida did he? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What? The, I, I. This is not supposed to be like this. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. And I'm having all kinds of problems here. Resume call. All right. I'm doing well. Uh, hey. I don't know. I, I, Albert, are you are you there, Albert? I am here. Yes, he is there. Oh wow. I'm here, but it's been so long since I've done this, I don't have any idea yeah. how to hook this up. I, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. What is, I just did, I don't know what the what the timing is on everything. I know you just had your uh, your ex wife Ronnie on. Yeah. And so, so that was fascinating. Yeah. Uh, for the two minutes I got to watch it. Yeah. Uh, but I thought I'd just pop in and say hello. Yeah. I don't even know how to watch it anymore. I don't I don't know how to see what's going on really. Really. Yeah. Uh, do you uh, do you have a camera there? Yeah, I've got a ca I've got the camera on. Well, turn uh, it off and turn it turn it back on again. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna I have to talk with the camera. There we go. There yeah, you the are. Camera. Wow. But how do I? But how do I? How do well, I watch all this, else? Uh, I, don't, I don't know how this works anymore. Uh, turn, uh, wait, wait, okay, I see other people. There. Wait, wait, turn on your camera again. I thought the camera was on. Yeah, oh, for a second. Oh, and then nice. it's like Radio Albert, and it's got a picture, and everything's in reverse. Is it in reverse? It, <laughs> yeah, in reverse. it is in reverse. Yeah, it's sorry, Bruce. Uh, I don't know how to do any of this It's the backward anymore. world no of, of Albert. Yeah, how are you? I'm good. I'm you know, good. I was going to call you because we talked about doing this. I was going to call you my ass. No, you keep you keep wearing your little socialist cap over there. I see your what is that from China? You went to yeah. China again? No, I didn't go to China again. That's when I went to China the last time. Oh, the last time you went to China. Yeah, the last time I went to China. So, so how's everybody? How's everybody on Gabnet? I didn't even know how to call because apparently you changed since I last did this. Yeah, you changed 
it's now GabNet Live or something. I don't even know yeah, what it that, is. Yeah, that's the and number. I put a website and I, I forgot it was GabNet.net. And I put gabnet.com and it's some kind of Russian site or something. Oh, is there? Is there? <laughs> it's, collusion. <laughs> it's collusion. Yeah. It's collusion. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> now, who else is on here? I, well, see, this, I see two other people. Well, you've got Renee. Yeah. I don't know. Renee uh, Collins. Oh, hi, Renee. Renee. Yeah. yeah, you remember okay. Renee. She was at our, uh, when I went, went and got installed in the... Uh, uh, Bay Area Broadcasters Hall of yeah. Fame, and do you know Phil Meyer? Have you ever been? Uh, I know Phil Meyer. Yes. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. There's Phil. How you doing, Phil? Uh, I'm all right. Uh, you know, Still uh, trouble? Uh, well, kind of. I uh, uh, just had a nice operation a couple weeks ago, so I'm recovering. Yeah. So oh, this show, old people. And there's yes. a, who, we were just joined by uh, Kevin. Kevin is uh, the play Santa Claus at Christmas time. Where? Everywhere. No. <laughs> it's the family. It's the family Southern. business. His wife plays an elf. <laughs> you know, Bert? it's cool. A hot elf. Want me to come sit on your lap? Elf. You <laughs> know, his wife makes jewelry and uh, jewelry. So basically, the elves in Santa's uh, Santa's workshop, yeah. which is right behind Santa. Yeah. Uh, uh, is where they where they make the gifts for the kids who have been good. Yeah, yeah. Right? There you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Didn't know. Yeah. You Look know that work. I bet. There. I bet if you went up to your, uh, what are you using? You're using a PC, right, uh, Albert? Me yeah. always. Always. Yeah. If you went into tools, see where it says tools. No, I have yeah. no idea where it says tools. Up in the top, there's a strip of stuff. It says tools. Does it? No, I don't no. strip of stuff. Or maybe you have the old one. I, what what you do is 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 somehow you got it. You're you're believe it or not, everything is reversed. You're like in Bizarro Land. Yeah. Okay. Let if, me see if I can fix that. If people can hold up a mirror to his part of the thing, you can then see him as he should be. Yeah. Then float. Well, I, like I don't. The mirror behind you. Huh? I like the spring of Albert. I like that. Yeah. I can I can barely hear you, Renee. Oh. Break up all over uh, the place. Oh, that's right. Uh, you're not breaking up for me, so uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's probably my shitty signal. Yeah, it's probably the shitty you're signal. He lives Florida? in. You're in Florida now. I'm. Uh, well, I'm in witness protection, so I'm not really. <laughs> <leaving that. laughs> you need that after you hang around with uh, with Bennett there for a while. God, I you miss know. seeing your face every day. I really oh, yeah, do, Albert. I, I was yeah, thinking about I, that the other day. I was saying, you know, I spent most of my life for what nine and a, nine, almost nine and a half years looking at your mug every morning. No, well, more than ten years if you consider the the video and the uh, and the other stuff. Yeah. Oh, right. You're right. You're right. But but going in every morning and there was there was Albert. You know. Right. And uh, he was a guy who knew how to really make me look good. And no, you, no, that was you. No, you watched out for me. You really did. You. you know, you always, uh, you were a great producer. I oh. had a lot of fun with you. But you know what I always think of and I miss? And, and if, we, if we were just there again, together, you'd be doing Donald Trump. No, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I know <laughs> you don't want to do it, but you no, used to do it. You, <laughs> you were doing Donald Trump better than anybody did Donald Trump. Yeah, I, I, I gave it a shot when I had to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So you're, you're living in Florida. Does that make you exempt from having to deal with Donald Trump? Uh, no, not at all. In fact, the opposite, I think, is true because I'm, I'm just minutes away, a short drive down A1A, and I'm right at... Uh, oh, Mar-a-Lago. Uh, yeah, you got to Mar -a -Lago. every weekend, right? <laughs> What's that? You got to deal with him every weekend. Well, not quite every weekend because he goes to Jersey too sometimes. Oh, yeah, that's right. so it's yeah. not quite every weekend. Yeah, but there, there's there's enough of that shit to deal with. Hey, but, what's uh, Jupiter like? Is that a nice area? Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's quiet. It's yeah. everything's quiet except for you know Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Everything is quiet. I like to go up the street to Uranus. <laughs> yeah, I, I, bet I, I bet you would. I heard about your stuff. I'm not even going to bring up that story. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Chris yeah. Ritter? Who the hell is Chris Ritter? Well, I can't. Chris, if you're trying to call in the show, 
I can't put you on because you have to ask to be, well, well let me see here. Let's see if we can get this person on. Hold on, everybody. Uh, he didn't ask for a request, but let me call him and see if I can, uh, can I get him? Add to contacts, send, and then go like that. No, Chris, I can't. Unless you answer that, you become a... Uh, uh, did you get a thing from me, Albert, the, the asking you to make me a contact just a few minutes ago? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, but As I said, I don't really know how this thing works. Because now... I don't have any of this at all. Now you can call him. Oh, you just don't... You never do this. You never do Skype? Almost never, no. Almost oh, never. Almost never. Almost never. And, you know, when I moved, I disassembled everything, and I really didn't <laughs> until, Up until about two days ago, I didn't put any of the video stuff or anything together. I didn't have Skype installed. So I've, been at, I've really been out of commission for quite a while. So what compelled you to call tonight? Well, you, we, we spoke about uh, having a conversation, yeah. or jumping on, yeah. and I, I had some time. Um, I, I was going to watch... Uh, um, was the wrestling guy on HBO, but then I said, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, and I, I said, well, you know, Alex is on now. Let me see if I can jump on now. Was the Andre the Giant documentary Andre on now? Andre the Giant is on now, yeah. Oh, I want to watch that. My, my, my son loves wrestling, so I wanted to watch it with him so yeah. that we can watch together, so I didn't watch it now. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be second, second place to Andre the Giant. So so what'd you do? <laughs> you, you got yourself a place down there. You You, you built it, right? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, you... <laughs> What you described to me kind of sounded like uh, Boca del Vista. Well, it's kind of, it's kind of like that, yeah. I mean, it's got, it's got everything. The, the, place, the place has absolutely everything. Whatever I needed is here. And uh, why, would I, why would I go anywhere else or do anything else than enjoy life? You know, I, I'm, I, I got sick and tired of... of uh, Driving nowhere mm -hmm. in, in four hours, yeah. getting my car beat up, going on the subway and, and smelling things that I didn't want to smell while I was standing up. So I said, forget it, enough. And uh, Linda and I decided, that's it. Let's, let's find a place to go. Uh, we both have family down here, so we decided, let's go. Yeah. Let's, let's throw the money away before uh, people inherit it from us. And you got pretty sick and tired of the radio business, right? I didn't get sick and tired of it. It just changed so much that it wasn't really the radio business anymore. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I'd, gotten, uh, I'd gotten some offers to do some very lucrative stuff, and I just didn't want to do it anymore. It's, it wasn't the same thing. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, sponsored programming where you, where you have to put sponsor mentions in. And, 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 you know, the thing I heard a lot was, well, you know, we really need to see how many clicks you can get on this. I said, well, that's not radio. I don't give a shit about clicks. If I want to click through, I can go on the Internet and do that instead. But I don't, I don't give a shit about that. Albert, we have something in common. What's My that? last paid radio gig was working for Alex. <laughs> 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 and, and if he thinks he's got a hiatus from radio, that was 1982. Yeah. Did, did you get him a lot of clicks? Uh, there was no <laughs> clicks in 1982. Apparently that's the big thing. I don't know. What, are, what uh, do you mean by clicks? Then you're, then, you're, then, you're, then you're as fortunate as I am. What do you mean by clicks? Internet. Were they, talking about, your... they, were they talking about internet clicks? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many, the, the, uh, the metrics, how many people are, are going to be able to, uh, you know, you have to, oh, can you come up with enough ideas so people will click through to the website? I don't give a shit about the website. I'm not doing, I'm not doing internet stuff. I'm doing radio. If you want me for that, I'll be happy to do it well, and take so, your money. But it, I'm not going to, I don't want any, I don't want anything to do with click throughs and, and having to supplement the website with a radio show. Well, I remember I, once over at, at Sirius, they said to me, uh, well, we're not giving you a bonus this year because you didn't get us any publicity. Right. And yeah. I said, I didn't think that was my job. Yeah. You know, that your job is to get me publicity so people will want to listen to me. Not man. for me to go out and get the publicity for you. You got it all backwards, man. Yeah, well, I mean, this thing is true with clicks. I mean, are you doing radio or are you doing the Internet? Yeah. Now, but here I happen to be doing the Internet, so I guess clicks count. But, you know, if I was doing radio, fuck you with your clicks and how many, you know. 
Hey, well, so I'm living, I'm living Del Boca Vista life now. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, the mouth. I, of... like, I like Mark Thorner's side, though. No, no offense to your side, but I think Mark Thorner's over in um, uh, the Gulf Coast. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's over. In, um... Yeah, Mark well, Thorner's another one of Alex. Less, less hurricanes on Albert's side. Yeah, at least, <laughs> oh, really? That's not necessarily true. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll get our share. Yeah, I don't care. You know what? If the, if there's a hurricane, who cares? You know, who cares what happens? You're forced to get insurance, so that's fine. And people say, "Oh, you got to put the you got to put the alarm on it." Now, I don't give a shit about the alarm. I have insurance to cover stuff that's stolen. Do you think I care if you're going to steal my old stuff? I'll get the insurance and get new stuff. I don't care. Come steal and it I, so I can get some new stuff. Exactly. That's <laughs> yeah. my whole thing. You know, what did I, what did I put in uh, hurricane-proof glass or whatever they call impact-resistant glass? For what? Because the hurricanes are coming. That's all. Yeah. And I have insurance for that, too. So I don't care about hurricanes. Is the water warmer on the Atlantic side than it is on the Gulf side? Mm-mm. Well, it's probably warm on the Gulf side. Really? Oh. Yeah. But I, also, I, it might depend on the time of year. Yeah. You know, well, I, I, it really doesn't matter to me because I, all I know is the pool is heated all year round. So I don't have a problem with that. Well, the show really care. We go to the beach once a week, but we don't go in the water. We walk up we walk on the beach one, at least once a week, and the rest of the time I'm I'm swimming in the pool. To show so you to, to, Alex. Just to be able to wear a t shirt yeah. and shorts at night. That's the fucking best. Are you kidding? <laughs> no. Yeah, <laughs> night, it's about at night all day long, every day. I yeah. haven't put a pair of long pants in three oh, months. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, you know something? I, to show you how much I've given up, let me just stand up. Okay. Oh, the Gabnet guard. Uh, there you go. You got He's got his flannels on. Pajama yeah. pants? Yeah. I, I, I've given well, up completely. Yes. You know, I've given up completely. Do you notice how much weight I've lost, though? Look at that. Uh, I know. I know. You yeah. lost. You lost quite a bit. Let's see those sausage hands. They're all gone, huh? That, the, so, <laughs> what do you mean the sausage, sausage hands are all gone? Sausage fingers. Like Skeletor. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the death the death fingers coming at you. Yeah, yeah. He used to give me a bad time. He used to say I had sausage fingers. I did no, not I have didn't sausage didn't, fingers. I didn't give you a bad time. You had sausage fingers. <laughs> and it was confirmed by everybody in the room. It wasn't a bad time. Uh, well, like I see it. Yeah, it's the opposite of Trump. What's so, that? The opposite of Trump when it comes to yeah. the hand. Would you right. believe? Uh, would you believe, Albert? You know, talking about radio, that the radio we loved it doesn't exist anymore. That at, the, at any time, that two major broadcasting organizations would go bankrupt. I mean, yes, I would believe that. Well, I mean, yes, I absolutely would believe that because yeah. I worked for one of those radio organizations, and and it, there was no question that they were going to go bankrupt. No question at yeah. all. Oh, we just lost we, we just we, we just lost your you're just gray. Oh, I'm just gray. Let me see if I get the camera back up. Hold on. Like I said, I don't know what the hell's going on here. I don't know what's going on either. I've, I've never, me? I've never seen that yeah. happen before. Have you, Phil? I've never seen that. No. Usually, somebody's picture comes up. Your picture comes up instead. I bet of, you the plug. So there we go. Now we, uh, there we go. Now you're. Okay. What did you have now? now? You're n- well, you got uh, the RA. Well, it's I may only be seeing the RA because uh, I don't, I don't have a connection. What do you mean the RA? RA? Uh, well, his... I see a circle with initials RA in it. Uh, Maybe no it's picture. turning around. Hmm. Um, yeah, toggle it again. Just just he, flip it on and flip it off again. Albert. If he was one of my contacts on Skype, then I would probably see whatever he has posted. But uh, no, before when he was talking, I could see him. Yeah, you can yeah. see him, right? Yeah, yeah, right. It's just right now. Am I back? Uh, almost. Nope. Your camera is <laughs> doing the little circle thing, but it's doing it's a funny circle, circle thing. It's blanking in and out. Stop! Yeah. Stop yeah. the camera a second. Let's and see. then start it again. Let's see if we get your graphic. No, we don't even get your graphic. That's strange. I don't know. I may. I may. I have to. I guess I'm just going to have to come on here more often and and figure out how this works. Yeah, well, or, we or, we would love great. to have you on more often. Jeez, uh, perfect. Just, Do that. just call Alex when the show's off on Skype, and he can help you work out the uh, uh, the glitches. 
Oh yeah, excellent delegation, Phil. Uh, can, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's why I get the big money. Yeah, he may. <laughs> he, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> other thing is he may not have upgraded to any newer versions of Skype oh, since he oh, first. Oh. Uh, you know, like, have the newest version of Skype. Oh, oh really? Maybe no. that's the problem. <laughs> do, you, do you see my thing now? No. No. Really? Uh, and this and this is a family show. We don't want to see your thing. I'll tell you. Hang up and call us back. Hang up and call us back. Let's see what happens, okay? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, make sure not all those people you're begging for, make sure they don't come in before me. Oh, no, oh, I won't let them. We have plenty of room. Plenty of yeah, room. we need about what eight more people to show up. If something like that, it's been. You want to know the funny thing? Here's a, here's another funny thing. I don't even know how to hang up on this. Well, thing. here I'll hang up on you and then just call back. Well, okay. Tell them. You go to the bottom of your screen and you'll see uh, the hang up sign. Just hover your mouse down towards the bottom of the screen, yeah. and you'll no, see that... the camera icon and, and a couple of other icons. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I, and now I got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yes, I did. Oh, do you see the Do you see the camera toggle there? Or is the my camera, camera back up? No. No, not yet. But if you turn it on and off, it might just click on. No, for you. no. It's okay. uh, there's something it's not going it's to. Not right. There's something okay. not right. There we go. Uh, oh, there, well, he, there you are. Now we see you. Am I up? Yeah. yeah. Am I the right? around yeah now you're oh, no. no you're not no. the right no, way around reversed, now. But that <laughs> could be, uh you got mirror image clicked yeah, what, are you, what are you PC using to do mirror. that with obs yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I we spoke last time we got together about obs and yeah I, I told you that i was i was checking it out for uh one of my relatives wanted to do a podcast and i said forget about a podcast go on the thing and so i was yeah. goofing around with that but i but i don't know how to flip I don't know how to flip the image around. Crazy. Huh? There's something in there that says it's probably something in OBS that you can flip it. Yeah. And, and and I'll, mirror I'll image. Do. But I'm not. Yeah, gonna, where is mirror, mirror image? I, I don't know OBS, but uh, it, no, I don't think it's OBS because it's coming up fine over here. I, I don't know what it is. Hmm. Anyway, this is going to be the most boring show you've ever had talking about all this crap. Well, no, uh, oh, that's what, when he gets the numbers. Whenever he has problems. Well, Yes. Yeah, yeah, we actually have pretty good numbers right now. What does that mean? That you means that means we got four people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> now, what happened? Hey, you know, to, what happened to all the other uh, all the other people that used to be on? Well, they they are they're okay. out there lingering somewhere. They haven't just haven't called tonight. Where are the, were the, they? Did they go to the King of the Vape show uh, that's on earlier in the in the night? What do you mean the King of the Vape show? Oh, uh, Damien. Yeah, Damien. No, the king, <laughs> the king of the vape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he smokes. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, um, no, what I was going to say uh, is that, uh, yeah, we, we, you know, um, some nights we have uh, a full, what we call a full house. Mm -hmm. And then we also have what what the royal flush. That's the other one yeah. we have. That's one more person. Just Eleven. But when, once I get past like nine other people besides me it's very hard to keep control of everything you know there's a certain limit i remember you used to love to get as many people as possible i think you hit 15 one night whatever whatever you can get i don't know yeah now what whatever whatever happened to that crazy drunk guy that always called the crazy drunk he guy. got banned oh oh uh, i <laughs> he i got, got banned every two days i i Wasn't banned him true? i banned him once and for all what was his name? Uh, Doug Dupree. Doug Dupree. Okay. And then I heard Dupree. I heard somewhere he got divorced or something, or his wife uh, threw uh, him out. Oh. No? Uh, oh. Yeah, he, uh, I see him on Facebook, uh, and he and his wife get along great. And he's doing oh, really? photography and rebuilding little motorcycles. He got f fired or quit from his job. Oh, yeah. wow. so he's unemployed, but not divorced. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well... You know, apparently he's forgotten us once and for all. He doesn't seem to be trying anymore. Well, I guess not. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but um, he's banned from shows that aren't even on the air anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and the other gentleman, what was the other guy's name that was Will? Oh, yeah. You banned Will, too. Oh, Will, Will. Who was Will? Oh, Will was the pothead that always had the conspiracy theories that were like. Oh, well, that, that was that was back in the radio show. That was yeah. back on oh. on Sirius. 
Yeah. He came to the, uh, Will came to the, uh, the Bay Area Radio Awards too. Yeah. Yeah. But man, he, the BAFTAs, the Bammies. The, the trouble was, remember though, he just got so out of hand. He got so stoned all the time. He was, he, he couldn't control him, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's my aspiration at this point. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I moved down. We one of the one of the huge considerations was to move to a place where there's no state income tax, so that's covered. And by the way, th- thank goodness for that because I got crushed by New York State. So fuck them. How did you get cru- how you get crushed by New York State? Well, your your wife was working, right? Yeah. And then were you working too? I, I wasn't working. So whatever it was, that and and selling uh, selling some stock and selling some other stuff. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this year. Yeah. Uh, and, but so if 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 I could find a place that has no income tax, and at the same time I can get some recreational marijuana. I was just was gonna a, say, can you? I deal and I did, and I did the research. <laughs> And although I can get the medical, I can get medical uh, cannabis here, but not in the smokable or the edible form. So that's pretty shaky right there. Can, can you I, grow I, your own? No, 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 no. You can't do that here. Let no, me ask no, you a question. Let me ask you a question, though. Jared holds a big item down there. Now well, you, you see, you see Renee there, right? Uh, yeah. She's somewhere in this world, but she's not in the in in, uh, uh, in the continental uh, United uh, States. Uh, Where is she? You, you want to see my window? <laughs> look at the point out the window. Oh, somewhere in this world. We're all somewhere in this world. What does that mean? I don't think you'll be able to see anything. Yeah. Uh, it's a little gray. Uh, I'll give you a little clue. Huma huma nuka nuka apa wapa ah ah. What? She's calling from Hawaii. Oh, from Hawaii. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I quit what, too. Down there? I like I, that. I quit. I couldn't take it anymore. Too many of your best, too. It, it was eight million of your closest best friends in one area, and it's just too hard. It was too hard to live in the Bay Area. I quit. Good for you. The only thing is, is I can actually grow pot because you can have a couple plants per person here. So I'm sorry, Albert. <laughs> That's fucked up to tell me. That. That's really fucked up. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Well, Kevin's got the same thing because he's in California and he can grow way more plants than I can. <laughs> yeah, but the problem with Kevin is, what is what is your average tax rate about? Eight point uh, eight uh, points up? Yeah, exactly. Twenty five points something. That's you fucked move up. Move a little north to okay. get out of that. Go to Oregon, and it's all good. Okay, but do you, you have a sales uh, state? You have Oregon's a, not good because Oregon's, Oregon's got a, a, a tax rate also. I'm looking no for zero tax rate. Oregon, no sales there's tax. Two though. states that, that that I that, there's three states that allow that. That's that's um, uh, Alaska has no ta- no income tax and recreational weed. Washington State no income yeah, tax Washington recreational too, weed. Yeah. And and my next port of call uh, Nevada which has no income oh. tax, uh, uh, <laughs> recreational weed, and I can drive to California if I want to go to the beach and still smoke recreational weed. So that's that's where I'm going. And Next you got a fully uh, automatic weapon. Your, your needs are not great, are they? <laughs> At this point, no. I, I, my needs are not that great. Well, that well, that's that's not necessarily so because I, I, right now I'm looking for a, uh, a hard-top convertible car. So Uh-oh, what are we looking for? Yeah, okay. I'm looking for a, a um, what is it, a, a Lexus IF 350C. Oh shit! Yeah. Do you know how to drive one of those? It's an that's one of my, what are you that's, about? No, that's one of my big peeves. That car is a haul ass vehicle. Yes, and it is. In the Bay Area, have no idea how to drive that fucking thing. No, so, no, no. C30, <laughs> uh, the two seater Lexus. Yes. Uh, it was a hard top convertible. That I, thing I, I, I test drove one. V8. Rocket ship, and I yes, had a good stereo that was beyond good. Yes, it is. Yeah, but it's too small, though. Yeah, you want something with a little bit of room, oh, just yeah. a little bit of room. Two so back seats with you. Yeah. yeah. So that's 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 what that's my next uh, my next thing. Uh, little hard piece. Yeah, who knows? I'll wind up getting a a bike or something with a with an an umbrella attachment to compromise. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you really like it down in Florida, right? Because I hated Florida, as you know. Yeah, but you, I think you primarily hated the people you worked for. And I hated, your audience wasn't that great either. What? what? Your audience wasn't that great either. Oh, the was audience it? was the meanest audience I've ever worked for. Well, that's why you hated it. 
Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was, that was a a mean fucking town. I mean, of course, you're not down in Miami, okay? But Miami was was the meanest fucking town I ever worked in in my life. At least an hour and a half. Yeah. Depending on what the traffic is. Yeah, but you know what? I have to say that that the people that I've met here in, in dealing in retail and customer service and all that, they're the sweetest people. They're really the nicest people ever, um, way nicer than the people in New York. The only problem is they have no concept of getting back to you in an appropriate amount of time. Because they'll Neither say, oh, okay, else. I'll... What? Neither no does one? anyone else in retail. Well, for, uh, in, in New York, they did. If, you know, if I called up the cable company or somebody, yeah. they, they'd say, yeah, well, okay, we'll be there in two days. Uh, and they were there in two days, maybe not during the six-hour time period, they said, but... But they did show up. These guys, they don't show up. You know, when you when you need something done, okay, we'll come by in, uh, in, in uh, next Thursday. Okay, fine. They don't show up, and then you call them and say, oh yeah, well we couldn't make it, so why didn't you call me? Uh, well, you know, we couldn't, we just couldn't make it, so so but that's the only problem. They're not very nice about it, but they just don't tell you. They hey, guess, guess, um, guess who, uh, Albert, our old friend. Who is it? Uh, there he is, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick's here. Yay. Let me, are you still a Republican? Yo, oh, God. <laughs> better, better hold on. Somebody's got to hold on to that party. Yeah. I mean, he's not a Trump fan he's at all. Who the hell is? Phil is the Trump fan. Yeah. In fact, yeah, right now, the, right now on this started. screen, you are sandwiched between two Republicans. How's that? Yep. Eh, it doesn't matter. You got a fiscal conservative on one side and just a magma. <laughs> on the other side. He used to have that wrapped in aluminum foil, and it looked so much better. I'm surrounded <laughs> down here, so it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to me. I, I was thinking of going to do some shooting at some point, but it just I, I can't get I can't get latch onto it for some reason. Mm. It's just not my the, uh, local indoor range or something. It's air conditioned and comfortable and. Uh, well, there's plenty of them, yeah. That's what I was thinking of doing, but it just it's not appealing to me. And according to Patrick, <laughs> look for a range that doesn't have a bunch of gunshots, gun oh, holes. Ceiling, in yeah. <laughs> It'll be a while before I look for a range. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna look for that uh, that vehicle before I look for a gun a gun place. Yeah. Well, we wish you lots of luck with your new convertible. Yeah, we'll see. If it happens, it happens. Now, where did Alex... Oh, Alex is over here now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how any of this stuff works. What do you mean, <laughs> Alex? Oh, oh, you're using the newer Skype where it's got little bubbles and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What you should do yeah. is you should go on to Skype and download mm -hmm. Skype Classic, it's called. You go to yeah. the downloads and just say Skype... Uh, there's a... Uh, in the drop-down thing, there's a thing that says Skype Classic. And just it's get like Skype a, Classic, and that'll give you the older version, and it's better. Version 7 point something instead of 8 point something? Yeah, wait a minute. Let me see here. What's the name of it? Uh, Skype. Uh, I, I, let uh, me see here. Help uh, about Skype. Uh, it's, I yeah, 7, it seven if point. If you go up into one of those bubbles and drag one of those people down into one of the squares, it'll pop one of those people in. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but, but also point. just yeah. seven point four one down into a square. Se it'll, yeah. it'll put him in there. Seven point four one, I think it is, and you can just go online, say Skype seven point four one, and you'll go to a site that'll let you download oh, it, and then you I can have, you can use that I, side by side with this one. Actually, I have the newest Skype, and I don't have any of those bubbles. It's just uh, I. But I, you're a I Mac. Can, you're a Mac. Oh, they haven't upgraded it to that yet. Yeah, but it's the same. I got I got the newest one, and it's it's a bubble. No, I'm oh, not yeah. upgrading yet. I'm a Mac. <laughs> not doing it. Yeah. it. It's no different. Yeah. It works fine. Now we're about to put somebody on who's calling, who, who you've n never even met before. This is a guy that's relatively new to us. Uh, oh, is he there? There he is. There's Jeff Stein ah. in Connecticut. Hello there. Yeah. Hey, John. Do you remember Albert at all from any of my shows? I sure I do. Yeah. Yeah. I've met him personally, but uh, well, now you have. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a lot nicer than I used to be, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I you keep saying sure? that about me, and it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we also have something in common. Who I, I you and I? Queens. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> What'd you say? Hey, you know, 
that's Listen, another thing that, that's unbelievable is that down here, the person that lives right across the street from me is a cop from New York. Right next to them is two people that lived in Queens for many years. And uh, down the road are more people from Manhattan. And there's more New Yorkers here than there were in New York. More, more people that uh, speak New York English here than, than I found on the subway. And in the subway, I could barely speak English to anybody. <laughs> now, now, Patrick, where is where where's Mark Thorner live? Do you remember? It's uh, Naples. 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 And he lives over in, in Nibbles, Naples. Where, where is he now? Naples. The other side of the state. No, but does he come? Does he come on the show still? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. he calls occasionally. Yeah. 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 What, what, about, what about David? What happened to David? I think oh, about did, him every so often, and I don't know. Yeah, David. He, David. Uh, David. I hear from very occasionally. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, he's still in the jury. What did you say? I uh, just heard from him. He he wished me a happy triple anniversary. So uh, yeah, I just heard from him. Yeah, he had prostate surgery and went back to uh, Czechoslovakia to right. uh, to uh, have the surgery done, and I guess they're still there. It wasn't uh, surgery though. He did the he did the radiation therapy. I did the surgery. Yeah. And uh, by the way, how's that going for you now? Um, you know, I, I work the full day today, and uh, uh, except for the fact that I have to wear a diaper, uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm 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 okay. Were you okay? I mean, are you leaking, or are you, are you able to hold it I'm, now? Huh? Well, uh, I leak. You know, uh, uh, not to the point where it gets on the pants or anything, but uh, I have to wear the diaper. And Couldn't I'll, we just ask him about his Kegel muscles and whether or not he's been doing his exercises? Uh, not as often as I should be. I do. I do. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Now, yeah. now, all right, I'm going to take over the show for one minute here. Okay. I'm fucking parallel. I don't yeah. have control of my asshole or my dick. However, yeah. with, with exercises and a little bit of... Wait I have it. I, I don't just my well I am now because I got the bladder stone, but I don't I don't wear any pens, anything. I transfer, I do all kinds of bending, I don't shit my pants, I don't piss myself. <laughs> Fucking exercise. So do you want to be my personal trainer? Do you want to be stop my lights. personal trainer? Go to a stoplight <laughs> and every time the light changes, yeah. do a kegel. I'll, I'll be wearing well, a fuck DI hat and yeah. I'll have a <laughs> That's what they used to tell my wife. Do a kegel when you're at the stoplight. I'm not kidding you. I can't. I went to Costco on on uh, Monday, okay, yeah. yesterday, and they don't, they and and I go anything. I go to this place where you get the car to take you home. They have us, you know, cars that come uh, there, and the car in front of me. They're loading it up, and it's two old people, and they have two huge boxes of Depends. They're taking home. <laughs> I sent Faye to Costco yesterday to get me Depends. Yeah. She says they're no longer carrying the male version of Depends. So she Ooh. calls me and says, do you want the female ones? I said, nah. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Every time I go there, you see, I mean, Marjorie has always made this into a big joke. Every time we walk by the Depends, she you says in a loud, boisterous voice, <laughs> Alex, are you running out of your Depends? I get the same thing. Does yeah. your wife do the same thing? Yeah. She does the same thing. And I say, <laughs> no, but I right next to uh, to the Depends are the poise pads, which I don't think you need anymore. What's a poise yeah. pad? Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh for... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and so that's our joke all the time. So, you know, uh, they should have the male Depends at Costco. They, they, you know, and it's a giant display. I mean, it's just... You know, she went massive. there yesterday, oh, and she, she said that they're no longer Costco's no longer carrying the male version. Oh, so, that's bullshit! I put them on your Amazon wish list. <laughs> you know, I should. She went to CVS and uh, but just order them on Amazon. Yeah, I, I will. Yeah, uh, hope, you know, maybe I'm hoping that if I don't buy too many, yeah, that maybe I won't need them soon. <laughs> well, Alexa, order. You, Depends. Uh, uh, you know, I think after a while, you probably won't have that incontinence problem. It's probably 
because of... He spoke to the doctor, and he said that a lot of this issue is that since I had a catheter for 10 days... <laughs> Welcome to uh, our program, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. It's Alex's waiting room. <laughs> yes. But since I had a catheter, and you're able to kind of pee freely that way, mm -hmm. uh, that I have to restore the muscles, and it's uh, in, in the bladder... <laughs> So, and that, sit back and watch Patrick go. Patrick, Patrick, don't allow this to go on yes, any longer. Just pa jump in. Patrick, God. Yes, Patrick. To say something again. Yeah, that's not a real hand. All right. So, <laughs> you're, you're sitting there right now talking to him, right? Yeah. Did you realize that you can be doing Kegel exercises while you're on the air, while you're at work, while, like Kevin said, while you're at the stoplight, while you're driving? Let me tell you something, Phil, and I'm, I'm serious. I was doing what I could do constantly while I was in the hospital and yeah. afterwards. It took me eight months yeah. before I stopped shitting my pants <laughs> and pissing myself. But I have a whole different situation than you. I don't have control over those muscles. Yeah. So you do exercise. And you know what? You can also do Kegel exercises. When you're laying in bed and you are drifting off to sleep, that's what you should do. And by the way, by the way, do you women out there, Kegel exercises are always recommended. Yeah. Yes. Well, especially for those that have had uh, childbirth. But uh, even my mother was giving me the same speech the other day. <laughs> are, you ready? are you ready? Yeah. Okay. yeah yes. Yes. On, yes. on, on okay. the count. <laughs> I like it. A metronome? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just get a metronome. Yeah. Well, the doctor said you're supposed to hold the hold the position for like five seconds at a time, and you want to do set it for that. twenty of See? those. Hmm? What? No. Hold it. Can't hear it. Hold oh, it. Set it for five. <laughs> hold it, hold it. <laughs> Very nice. Is that a iPhone? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was one of those. Is that an app? It's an app. Yeah, it's an app. I use it for my daughter's music. I like it. You can set it for, uh, let's see, 47. There you go. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow. Mm -hmm. Alex, oh, I hear yeah. iPhone just got face recognition. Remember I had that in the 90s when yeah, I had yeah, my yeah, yeah, No, I was saying that when, when <laughs> Apple came out and said, we have face recognition on the, app, the iPhone 10, which Phil got. <laughs> Uh, and uh, he, he uses it, but it just comes up and says, you're too ugly. I refuse to do it. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but you had face recognition on your, uh, on your whatever that Android yeah, phone. To, yeah. Droid. Yeah, he had. Uh, he had really it. Galaxy. And that pissed you off when I first did that. That pissed you off. <laughs> we were walking. I remember distinctly walking down the hall. And just looking at my phone, and it opened up, and you were so pissed off. Why doesn't my own iPhone do? Well, this? why did it? Why did? Why did Apple make such a big deal out of it? Because I knew it was there, you know, with your phone years earlier. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, did you have the phone that caught on fire? No, I didn't have the phone that caught on fire. No, I think like the the six. I have the seven now. Uh, yeah. I'm not trying I'll, I'll tell you, if, if, if I wasn't, if I wasn't so um, 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 inculcated or in the in the so-called uh, ecosphere of I've been Apple, saying this shit for years. I would, I that. would, I would get a Samsung. They look good. You know, it, it looks like the they do the shit. gym. It's all the same shit. Plus, you can get this show on Android. We have a GabNet app for Android. And guess what? You can get everything on Android. I want a flip phone. <laughs> you want a flip phone? You know something? You know what they're making now? I saw it. It was it's great. It's online. Motorola is making yeah. the flip phone again, but it's yeah. a flip phone that you open it up and there's a whole screen along this a whole oh, thing. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a foldable foldable screen. You know, i I've, I've been pocket dialing for so long with these Apple phones since 2008. I've been pocket dialing. When I had a Nextel flip phone, nothing. Nothing. You, you know, yes, Never Patrick, you're you're looking stunned by something. How do you pocket dial if the fucking thing is off? Yes, Thank he you. doesn't hit. He doesn't hit the button on the side. Uh, yeah, no, you hit the button on the side. I fall yeah, asleep with the, the phone in my hand. 
Butt dialing yeah. is just a term. I don't think anybody actually butt dials. But well, you, not anymore. But sometimes you, you accidentally hit a button, you know, yeah. and you call somebody. Yeah, but if you lock your phone <laughs> like this, if you hit the other side and the right, it just turn. It you can't do. Yeah. Can't do it. Yeah. Exactly. You can't do a thing. Yeah, but if you it doesn't matter if you sit on it. Swing, <laughs> and uh, then all of a sudden the thing's in your hand and uh, y you push the button. Did you see the new? Okay, so there's a new report that's out saying do not let your kids sleep with that phone near their heads. The information is out now that these poor little, these little brain or the little skulls with the little brains that haven't been fully uh, put together by us. Best? Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> don't let your kids. This stuff, I guess, the radio, the stuff that's in here is actually can penetrate the little kids' stuff. So yeah. don't let your kids fall asleep with this near their head. Okay, it, how, it how many? How many out. of you watching right now? You on the panel? Believe that's true. Raise your hands. This is a real study. I thought they did studies and they said that it's not true. You I want thought. me to find the Harvard University study? Well, let's let's go this. to let's go to Patrick because he was crippled by a by a phone. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I so was I, most I, American. I would, <laughs> I would believe it affects children yeah. more than adults because a lot of things affect children more than they do adults just because of the underdevelopment that kids have, but. Um, you know, I, you know, I, I sleep with my phone at, uh, strapped to my forehead mm -hmm. every night just for the fun of it. So you know. Yeah, yeah, but our our skulls are fully developed and our brains are already hard. Well, I got one other malady that comes from this. On May seventh, I'm getting a cortisone shot in my left thumb because I, I've taken Facebook off the phone because I used to scroll, and by scrolling with the left thumb, now I have tendonitis. <laughs> no, I'm not you, doing you, that. That, that, no, oh, you, you <laughs> not necessary. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean. Listen, I had a cat who we altered, and even after we altered the cat, he kept trying to fuck the female cat, and then he would Just, get about halfway through it and try to remember what he was trying to do. You know, right? Uh, but uh, so it, it, you're never going to stop trying to jerk off, even though it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I'll look forward to the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, which brings us around to what went on today, which was, of course, uh, uh, why do you okay. keep flipping on and off like that, Albert? I'm trying to figure that out. Now you, you go to gray screen every now and then. Huh. I don't know. I hover my uh, my mouse on, on, on the main Skype screen, and that's what happens. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, don't hmm. do it. Then don't, don't do that. Okay. Just, just keep your hands off it. Uh, that's what my mother said to me. Um, uh, you so, need glasses. Uh, huh? Just keep your hands off until you need glasses. Yeah. But anyway, um, so um, today they had, um, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, the head of, uh, of Facebook. Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Uh, yeah. Testifying before a Senate committee. I have never seen a group of stupider senators in one place in my life none of them knew what they were talking about or what information they really needed to have did you get anybody see that it was pathetic no. yeah, I, I got so bored i left the, it was pathetic and at one point there was even one senator said well you know there's a rumor that you can listen into people's phone conversations on their iphones through yeah. the microphone and what about Zuckerberg the said, saying, that is just a way out there theory. What about the cameras, you know, where people say that they uh, can be spied on through their cameras? And that is probably true because I saw a, a thing on online that said what you needed to program to be able to hack into somebody's camera. If, beyond, if you have a camera on it, it, it it'll go both ways. Yeah. So <laughs> as long as it's not, all, yeah. That's why that's why tech people walk around with blue tape on their. On I their have this. Camera. Where is it? I never use it, but this came with my uh, this came with my webcam, and it's a cover that I can put over it. Just slip over it if I'm if I'm afraid that people are watching me. And quite frankly, I hope they are watching me. Uh, yes, uh, Patrick. Um, not to be ageist or anything, 
but as I was watching part of, I only caught a little bit of that with Zuckerberg, mm -hmm. but one, the, the senators that were giving me the most enjoyment were the ones who would be the elder statesmen <laughs> who would be approaching in their 70s, and you know damn well right that their grandchildren are programming their phones, and they're speaking text speak that none of us do on a regular no, basis. but they're reading it. They're reading it, and they didn't know what they it, were reading. It, it, it's as if you gave me a script and told me to speak about uh, whatever Jeff used to do with the cardiac stuff, and Jeff handed me something and said, now go present it to, to a board, and I just <laughs> read it. Yeah, and then the heart valve as it... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what was going on. And really? and yeah, oh, it was it was it was just brutal how stupid these people were. I heard he was just contrite and apologetic. Well, he was contrite well, and apolog exactly. apologetic. And while he sat there, you ready for the statistics yeah. now? While he sat there getting apologetic, the stock in Facebook rose to a point Up. where Zuckerberg sat there and made three billion dollars. <laughs> so apparently he did the job that needed to be done today he worked them he worked them the thing He's was they were at, to go <laughs> and ted cruz was asking him questions which were all about well aren't you haven't you banned right-wing blogs and things like that and zuckerberg is just going where are these people i mean if i were zuckerberg i would have said all y'all know nothing about technology, and when you do, come back and ask me the proper questions. Otherwise, in the meantime, you can blow me and then get up and walk out. He probably his worth would have gone up six billion. Okay, because that was just horrible to watch, you know. And uh, is it true Only that the, the micro president can talk like that? Come on. Only the president can talk like that. On the Twitter. Uh, right. And, it, yeah, it, no, and one of these, one of the senators, I swear to you, I heard him refer to it as the Facebook. Oh, no. That's what yeah. it was originally called. Yeah. No, it was called Facebook. It's always called Facebook, not the. F oh, you, I know what you're talking about. You originally about. called it the Facebook. You're right. It was originally called the Facebook. Well, then we, stuff. then we have to give the guy props for being retro. Oh. Retro. You yeah. know. But, I mean, that was the most pathetic thing I ever saw today. And to, we get it again tomorrow from Congress. That's going to be maybe we'll have some younger people in Congress who can ask proper questions. You know, who was asking the questions today? This the was senators, really senators, old senators, white really Harris. old white guys. Oh, what okay. about Camilla Harris? Wasn't she asking questions? I saw that this morning. Was she in there? I don't. Yeah, I, I don't remember I, seeing her. I, I didn't see her, but they had like I don't know, like thirty different senators asking questions. White Everybody guys. wanted a piece of this action. For the uh, news clips back home, yeah, they're on TV. Yeah, and they just all they none of them knew what they were talking about. And when it said Republican, they knew even less. Yes, yeah. yes, of course. Patrick, um, it is it me or now Zuckerberg is thirty three years old. He looks about eighteen to me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he looked he like he was. He, he, he looked look, look like yeah. he was dressed for his bar mitzvah. Hey, yeah, well, she didn't wear anything oh, well. She look young. <laughs> you know? So this was the problem with Bill Gates. For the longest time before Bill met Melinda Gates, he looked not good. But he looked like the rest of us. And then finally she kind of whipped him into shape. But Mark Zuckerberg doesn't have that as an option because he's married to a freaking doctor named Priscilla. And if he looks like shit... It's because nobody can tell him not to or something because he, he she's I don't I would she's a pediatrician she's full Look fledged fine. Well she he likes to wear sweatshirts and jeans. Like he, he likes to he wear looked, sweatshirts he and looked, jeans. He dressed a little too much like Trump. He ever well, get, uh, 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 in your in your meanderings of work Albert have you ever worked for a tech company? My meanderings of work. <laughs> uh, <gasps> Well, wasn't Sirius a tech company? I guess, but it, it, it kind of was a combination of an entertainment tech company. Uh, and But the tech never meant up with the entertainment part. You know, we just said the words and we didn't care what what 
wire it went through to get out. You know, I guess, I guess not strictly, not strictly tech. No. Yeah, because I've worked for tech companies and they always have this very relaxed atmosphere about how they dress, you know, mm -hmm. and it, everybody, it was all like if you had a cubicle, you could take the cubicle and dress it up any way you wanted to, right. you know, because they wanted you to they wanted you to feel comfortable and also to stay there 18 hours a day. It's a day, you know, they dry cleaning they have foosball they had, i remember i when i was working for cnet i had an ad that they were recruiting for this one company i can't remember which one it was and the last line in it was and we have dry cleaning on premises <laughs> <laughs> dry like, clean my t-shirt and my jeans yeah exactly exactly well if you got a 400 hundred dollar pair of jeans you want it dry cleaned yeah, yeah and that, that's kind of another thing. You you know, it is, is, this is a Trump issue. I loved it when Trump came out saying, oh, yeah, my clothes are great. And I'd look at him and go, no, honey, it's not great. And and the issue is, is you didn't put any quality into it, too. So when you saw Zuckerberg, it's, made, made in it's, China, bitch, made in China. It's great again. Made in China, bitch, made in yeah, China. This was made in the USA. See the American flag? Mm -hmm. no, uh, oh, look, you got one made in the United States. I, I think Kraft Cheese should probably put that on their cheese. Make America great again. There yeah. you go. Yes. What, where's your hat made? Is it Was it made in P, uh, no, PRC or no, was this, it made in Vietnam or something? No, this was my Chinese hat was made in... Uh, in the United, in USA, it says here. No, <laughs> really, 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 <laughs> It was yeah. cheap labor. No, it actually it it uh, whatever wherever it was made, it has a it has a label here, and the label, uh, made in China. Okay, so uh, all right, yeah. So uh, yes, Patrick. Just want to make sure Renee knows the the official Trump cap, the ugly one like Bill has. That one, the, the Elmer Fudd cap. Oh, not <laughs> all made in the USA. Oh, they really? Back off that actually the shape of the hat looked good, even if you don't like the message, but it looked like a hat that'll fit you. Those are all made in China. And those, <laughs> when, they, when they sell them on the street vendors and that, yeah. those are the official ones. The ugly uh -huh. one that, that Phil has, that. Yeah, put, put, it, put yours on, Phil. Put it on. Yeah, now, you look, know, look good. Uh, be very, doing, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> yeah, what Trump is doing uh, with the trade war is making sure that his hats won't be knocked off, his intellectual property won't get knocked off in China and sold here for, uh, and undercut the true uh, Trump. Uh, I've got news for you. I wouldn't say that the term make America great again is intellectual property. <laughs> he, he bought it from Reagan. Reagan, you coined the term. Yeah, he coined the term. Yeah, yeah. So. But he didn't copyright it, fool. Yeah, yeah. So, right. You know, there's quite a few. Can anybody buy a flag in America that uh, that says "Made in the United States" or all, all those? Made oh, no, in, America, in fact, you know? I was at I was at uh, Lowe's yesterday, and they have a lot of flags. They have bigger poles and smaller poles, and they all make a point of saying that the flag, at least the flag, was made in the USA. Many of them say that the poll wasn't made in the USA or, the, or some part of it, but the, the flag always says made in the USA now. Because okay. they have, a poll isn't made in the USA, and neither is a Hungarian. Oh. <laughs> no, right. Polls aren't made in, pol right. in, in the USA. Well, so is, isn't that hat that you've got on, Phil, called a trucker hat because it's got the big four? No, it's called an Elmer Fudd hat. It's a. I don't know, oh, but okay. it's so uh, uh, the trucker hat. hats are the mesh ones. Now that now that's mesh cool. The one that Patrick yeah, has. That's, nice for Trump's that, that's hair. cool. That's cool. Yeah, I like Patrick. Patrick. We got mesh in the back. Trump's it's hair foam in the front, mesh in the back. Yeah, but fr Trump's hair had a fit in this hat, so th that's why it's got so much extra room uh, on the top, so that uh, you could put the hair in. Hair. Okay. popcorn. Get him, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, the the thing well, is, I, Bill, I'm doing this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When we're, as long as we're speaking about caps, I'm doing this uh, for, for, for Albert's benefit because he'll get a he'll get a kick out of it. Now that's yeah, see, I like here, here's a cap I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna wear when I come to see you in Florida. <laughs> you need white socks and shorts, sandals, white knee high socks. 
in shorts and sandals. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, in case. You don't wear that cap outside, do you? Uh, no, never. Never. Okay. I don't. Turn it backwards and see if it looks like a beret. Huh? Turn it backwards and see if it looks like a beret. Well, uh, uh, no. But this no. is it, but well, here, well, here you, you do it this way. Yeah. Some people yeah. do it that way. Well, yeah. Not, that's that's the, cool. no. Now yeah. I look like Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, no, that's like Mike Snyder. Uh, yeah. Michael Snyder. Oh, no. <laughs> Snap. Oops. Snap. And Albert wins the. Oh, there you go. No. There we go. And you know who who gave me this hat? You know who gave me this hat? He oh, still call, he Tony still is. calls Tony. Tony gave me this hat. Oh, Tony. Tony. I like the blue one. Tony Mango. Hmm? What's he doing? What's he doing? Yeah. He's still living, new still living at home. Still living He's at home. bodies at the Bates Motel. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't you expect know? anything different, but, I mean, is he on the show at all? Yeah, he, he calls. He, he calls. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. He and, he, and he got he's got um, two golden re he's got two retrievers oh no two chocolate uh, two labs one is a chocolate lab named Coco and the other one is a, a lighter colored lab and he named him Pebbles oh, so he's got two labs named Coco and Pebbles beautiful yeah we get to see them sometimes that's he's when, when he's, he's, he's a it. he's a very special child and his mother drives him nuts now <laughs> he bitches about it constantly at the Facebook. His mother drives him nuts. Mm -hmm. He sends me 30, 40 texts a day, you know, <laughs> uh, on, on Messenger. And uh, today that. I said, you're sending me too many texts. I said, why don't you send them to Alex? He says, Alex will yell at me. <laughs> I said, that's the idea. Oh, no, no. I, I, you, have to, you have to toe the line with Tony when it comes to texts. You oh, just yeah. have to say, no more, Tony, or I'm forever banning you from... From Facebook or whatever, you know, because I mean he can get just crazy with it. Yeah, you know, it's hot and in here today. Thank you. Cereal boxes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what's your average day like, Albert, down there in uh, Florida? You wake up in the morning, and then? Oh, no, I wake up barely in the morning. I wake up, I don't know, nine thirty, ten o'clock. <laughs> oh, you about the time I do. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. I, yeah, I get yeah. up about uh, ten. Yeah, most days. And then I then I go and open the uh, the back door back door for the patio so the cats can go out and lay in the sun. Yeah. And uh, have a little coffee, which is already waiting for me, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little uh, muffin or oatmeal or something like that. What's your coffee of choice? Whatever my my wife wants to make, I don't care. I'm not. I'm oh, not really. You've never never. Do you have alligators in the backyard? In fact, we do. Yeah, we got to watch the cats. <laughs> no, no, no. They're not in the backyard, but they're, they're they have lakes between all the houses. Yeah. Kind of, uh, uh, subdivisions with lakes between the subdivisions, and uh, there are alligators in there occasionally. We, we got a picture of one one time, but uh, it does bother me. Good anyway, way to keep the toddler population down. It'll yeah. bother the cat. <laughs> I, I, I'm, in an, I'm in an adult community. We don't allow any toddlers walking around here. Oh, I'm sorry. You, uh, you must be kidding. You, did you think I was going to go into a community where there's people dragging their bratty kids all over the place <laughs> and, and, and shitting in the pool? No, no. Oh. That, that's not for me. I, I don't do that. I'm at, the, I'm at the very entry level of the 55 plus, and uh, we don't deal with any of that stuff. Uh, how old are you now? 55. 55. So you're 55 plus. Yeah. Okay. Gee, you're, yeah. you're, I'm 22 years older, 23 years older than you are. You're older than everybody. It's oh, some shut the age. fuck up. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Patrick. Albert, um, the thing is though, for somebody higher end of the age group that you're living with, right. there's a Hershey bar floating in the pool. No, no it, because it's not it's not a uh, it's it's not a disability community. It's not a, uh, a, a an older folks. Um, what do they call that now? Um, I, I, I don't, the geriatric. What? The, the geriatric. Set. No, uh, it's, it's a something. Yeah, well, it's a, a name. There's a politically correct name for that. I don't know what the Alta Caca. Alta Caca <laughs> Pines. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's they call it an 55 plus active living community. And active living active community. Around. Yeah. I mean, everybody's moving around. I'm probably one of the slower people of the bunch. And there's you know a million clubs down here of which I'm part of none of them right now. Um, but there's a, there's a thing for everything here. 
you know, we got a bunch of pool tables, a bunch of ping pong tables. We got the a, a huge Olympic sized swimming pool. We got the uh, whatever whatever you want there is here. Um, so there's always people active, big basketball courts. And there's always people active, and I just don't do any of that stuff. That's 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 what I like. I'm waiting for people my age so I can sit and hang out with them and maybe get stoned and listen to some obscure punk music. That's really what I want. Are there I any are there any country village? Are there any comedians that play your place? Uh, since uh, they don't they don't they don't uh, they don't do a lot of comedians down here. But we have we have. Um, we have some bands that come in, you know, uh, Frankie Valley tribute bands, and, you know, <laughs> doo wop bands and stuff like that. So, but there's a there's a contingency of, of people that I, I I deal with who are getting a little tired of that, and we're gonna bring in some some younger stuff. Hopefully, some, some younger stuff. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Alex, just Alex, you just had Buddy Love on, and he is wonderful in a huge setting. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, he. we just had two days of him, three days of him, Buddy Love. What, on this show? Yeah. Two days, two days. Two days. Yeah. It was great. What are you doing? Uh, he's fine. He's doing yeah. he's, do, he's doing fine. He got married. Did he? And, yeah, and married a doctor, which was always doctor. my, it was always my dream. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, because then if I say, Does my, do my feet look okay to you? Yes, they do. You know, and then I've got a professional opinion on it, not just my wife going, trying to make me shut up. OK, but you don't think that person would be lying to you, too? Probably. Uh, anyway, uh, so he got married and, uh, you know, I mean, the music business is doing is not doing great because who wants live music anymore when you can hire a DJ for your wedding? It's awfully fun. You know, so, yeah, it, 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 it's like. In a way, I feel, you know, in radio, like a uh, an anachronism, okay? And I think he kind of feels that way, too, you know, that when my father was, my father was a musician, and work got really hard because it was at a certain point in the 50s, what went out were the orchestras and what came in were the combos and the trios mm -hmm. and right. things like that that people went out to see and hear. And uh, consequently, he went and started selling real estate, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's just that e e there's a certain point at which what you do uh, becomes um, archaic. And I, I think that happened to us. Uh, you know, yes, you could work in the radio business, but you wouldn't be working in the radio business that you signed up for. Uh, and I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm an anachronism. I'm like my father, you know, there's... I better go get myself a real estate license. And I had it, and I gave it up. Did you? When did yes. You? Before I came to Sirius, I had a real estate license. Really? I said, you know, it's all going to fall apart at some point. I better have a backing, a, a backup plan. And then, it, then they called me and said, hey, you want to work with Alex Bennett? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Did you know who I was before they uh, hired you, when they asked you to go to work for me? Yes, and I worked with you nevertheless. <laughs> who's got the bell <laughs> actually it was it was very strange i think you and i kind of hated each other in the beginning i know i hated you i can't speak for you well i know i i, I hated you too and then for some reason something happened i don't know what happened but all of a sudden we became i i thought you two were engaged and yeah, weren't you going to get yes, married? Yes, we were engaged to be married. Yeah. Yes, right. that is well, true. That helps if you like each other, you know. Well, well, that was that was down the road. We we uh, would we wouldn't have gotten engaged uh, had had we not had well, the relationship that would merit that. Yeah, but serious, <laughs> serious, put a quick stop to the, to the marriage. Yeah, was, here's what happened. They tell them the story. What happened was. They legalized same-sex marriage in the state of New York, and it was going to start on a certain date. And they were taking a, uh, a lottery to see who the first people were going to be to get married on that date. And so we just, for the hell of it, sent our names in, and we won the lottery. <laughs> so now I go, I go to the bosses at Sirius, and I say, we got the publicity deal of a lifetime here. That's not your job to get publicity, though. Huh? 
It wasn't that's, my job, but I was trying. I was trying to do something for them. That, and, I, and I said, uh, Albert and I want to get married because we sent away for the lottery and we are one of the first, I think it was like 10 or 15 people that were going to be allowed to get married in the state of New right. York. I said, and then when we go down there and they say, well, you're gay, we say, no, but we're same-sex marriage. you got to marry us. And, right. and we were going to, you and I were literally going to get married. There was only one thing we wanted out of serious. Number one was a bouquet for the bride, whoever that would be. And Oh, I and, know who that would be. And, and I, I said, <laughs> I said, I said, as soon as we're married, you have to pay for the annulment. Right. Right. And they, they wouldn't go for the idea at all. And I thought it was it was, the, it was the best idea in the world. And we would make a big deal out of the fact that neither of us were gay, but we were going to get married for the tax deduction, you know, and for all the positive things that you get once you're married. And uh, they, they wouldn't go along with it, right, Albert? They laughed us out the door. It's very stupid. I think it would have made the easily the first five pages of the paper the next day. Maybe the front. Maybe the front page. Perhaps the front, yeah. Because it was, it was. You're substantially older than I was, or, yeah. or I am. No. Um, so that 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 disparity would have been would have been good for pictures. Yeah. May, December. Huh? What was that? A May, a December May relationship. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Robin the cradle. Yeah. Uh, and and then the fact that we weren't gay that certainly would have done it. Yeah. That would have pissed them off. But you were happy. But it would have gotten press. It would have gotten great press. Terrific press. What they wanted. Yeah. And Did their needs uh, poo-hoo it, or uh, you know, why? Our, what, our boss feel? went to his boss, and they said no. Right. And why they said no, I have no idea. We we listen when we sent in this as a joke. We just kind of sent into this lottery, and we got picked. You know, we who got the letter? You or me? That it was a letter I, that that. Huh? I got an email because I, I I applied online. Yeah. And I got an email that said you've been selected. Be here at City Hall on <laughs> Sunday morning. I think it was a Sunday morning. So the Monday morning papers would have been, and they did have people from the front of the line on the papers and on the front of the papers. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, and they and then when we would make a big deal out of the fact that well neither of us were gay but we just wanted to get married, that would have just and the yeah. point we were going to make politically was. That, you know, people who are married get benefits that people who aren't married don't get. And that we want to take backlash. advantage of that, you know. Yeah, there could have been some backlash, though, in the gay community, uh, you know, that uh, you were mocking their uh, their deal. Newly you know? found rights. Yeah. Fuck the gay community. We won the fucking lottery. <laughs> then, call it, then call it gay marriage and not same-sex marriage. Yeah, you wouldn't have yeah they call it same-sex marriage, yeah. not sex gay marriage. marriage. Yeah. Because yeah. I, th I think they didn't like the term gay marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Well, had the better insurance benefits. Uh, you were on, or, uh, so anyway, by the time we worked with each other for nine and a half years, I think we became pretty close. We became at least... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were, you were, very, you know, we, we, and we worked well together. I mean, we had timing together and all those good things, you know. Uh, it took nine years, but it took uh, nine years. The last six months were, were, were good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were at the top of our game, but apparently the bosses didn't think that. And to this day, Pat, uh, uh, Patrick, uh, to this day, Albert and I have no idea why we got fired. I, I think it was a you know very serendipitous. What was what was in my in my, in my uh, because we did the the video thing after that. Mm -hmm. You did this after that, and you know it, yeah. it worked out. Okay. Look who's joined us! Remember Tom Yamaguchi? Oh, Tom! See, hey. he it's was the other day. he was the I other guess. person at the installation for me at the Bay Area right. Hall of Fame. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to call because you talked about uh, your. Uh, your uh, opportunity or attempt to get married. Yeah. Uh, I should uh, remind you that you actually had the blessings of the uh, people at OutQ, the guy who did the morning show. Yes, we uh, did. Larry Flick actually came in, and, and he actually was very, very supportive. 
Yeah. And uh, so I think it was a yeah, it was a big mistake that you'd go through with it. It really was a mistake because you could have gotten a lot of publicity. <laughs> And you make and, and and there's a lot of people in the gay community who very have been divided about about marriage. There are a lot of people who refuse well, to get uh, married uh, because they're against the institution. Part of it was, especially at the time, uh, both uh, uh, Albert and I weren't married, and and we kind of wanted to make a statement against marriage, you know, in a mm -hmm. way, right, Albert? Wouldn't you say that was part of what uh, that, we were trying that was to part accomplish? Of it. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Tom, good to see you. Good to see you too, Albert. Yeah. See how they all miss you, Albert? <laughs> well, why not go that far? <laughs> how does Tom do this without any headphones on? How, do, how does that work? I'm just using my computer. Oh, okay. The uh, in, in board speaker and headphones. Yeah. I'm not the one that do this radio uh, thing. Uh, mic. Yeah. Um, uh, but it, I, we, w next time you come on, try and see if you can figure the backward thing. I think it has something to do. You know what it is? Because you're running it through Skype as your as your like your camera, and the camera is like reverse. But you can reverse that in Skype. I yeah, think. I, uh, like I said, I haven't done this in so long. I haven't had Skype up here. This is the first time I'm using Skype in God knows how long. Yeah, and I just said, let me come on and see what's going on here on on Gabnet. Yeah, and got flashy uh, graphics and everything going on. Very nice. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, but uh, it, it, it looks pretty good, right? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it looks. It's uh, it's simple. It's high def than it used to be when uh, you were doing a yeah. Gabnet the quality the quality of the Skype is a lot better than it was. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's more high def than it was in the past. So. Uh, I I I'll have to look into that. I don't know anything about this. Stuff. Yeah, I used to watch the Albert show. Wasn't it all audio though? Uh, it, out to the public. Uh, it, it was just it, audio in yeah, the beginning. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, we did on on Fridays. I think I did. Uh, I did a uh, uh, on Friday. I did uh, uh, video video, yeah. uh, but. Uh, uh, now I do it every night, you know, mm -hmm. it's just very simple. In fact, we have very few people listening to us on the audio stream. It's basically, oh, really? they look at us on the video stream because they go to gabnet.net and it's playing right there. That's the great thing about YouTube. The minute I turn on here, it turns it on everywhere if everybody's on that page. That was the original thing that you and Albert did with Great American Broadcast, having the uh, video and... Uh, uh, you know, it, it uh, didn't work because of the way people had to download or, or listen to it and, and use minutes. But now, with uh, well, well, most people well, having unlimited... Well, what we're ta what you're talking about is bandwidth. The mm. people suddenly realized they got a huge bill for trying to watch us because they were downloading so much. You know, the bandwidth yeah. was so large. Three shows and I got throttled back. <laughs> yes, yes, Tom, we got to get out of here. What? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say the problem with the uh, the original uh, live stream was there was a lot of glitches. The, the, the screen would freeze, and yeah. you'd actually have to reboot. And yeah. for several months, it was just a real pain. Yeah. It eventually got fixed. Well, YouTube is, YouTube is perfect. Hey, today. Albert, please do this again. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll really, give you a call beforehand so I can figure out what the hell's going well, on. Well, I'll call you in, maybe in the next couple of days. I'll call you and we'll see if we can figure it out so that you, you know. If worse comes to worse, just use your camera and Facebook and don't go through the OBS. You don't need to. You I want to do tech stuff. Come on. I know you want to do tech stuff. <laughs> and right now, as as uh, uh, Ted or Hal uh, instead of Albert. Uh, <laughs> it's leaning it's, backwards. It's weird. <laughs> anyway, hey, let's do more, okay? Because they love yeah. you, and I love you, and I, you know, I wish I had married you. It would have been really good. <laughs> it would have been great. We would have lived very <laughs> happily, and then you my wife could marry Florida. your wife, and everything would have been fine. Hey, you would have wound up in Florida. I would have wound up in oh. Florida. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You'd rather be in San Francisco, though. Uh, what? You'd rather be in San Francisco. Probably, but it's I hear it's a mess now. Anyway, thanks, Albert. I really want to thank you, and I want to thank, uh, of course, Phil. Stay where you are for a second. Phil, uh, 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 Patrick, uh, Tom, the last minute. We got Renee. Thank you so much, Renee. And, of course, 
uh, Kevin. And then there is, of course, our good friend, uh, Jeff. Okay? And uh, if you would all wave goodbye, we'll, uh, we'll call it a night here. That's our citizens panel, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they look like. Mm-hmm. Anyway, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And gal. Uh, that's it for tonight. Wow. I thought it, I was almost going to give up on the show again tonight. And then all of a sudden, guess who calls? Our wonderful friend, Albert, my former producer. Uh, boy. God, was he good. Anyway, he made, he made me look great. Hey, I got to go. Uh, that's it. I've run out of time and space and all those other Einstein-like things. Uh, next is The Intersection uh, with Jack and Amy, followed at 1 o'clock in the morning by Connections, Eastern Daylight Time. Then tomorrow night, uh, starting at 8.30, there is the Franchise MC with The Arena, our sports show. At 9.30, Damien Chaplin with The Exchange. And then I'll be back again here tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. <laughs>